All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over Google Ads, responsive search ads. I'm gonna show you an example, give you some best practices, and really th some things you should keep in mind so you can create the best possible responsive search ads in each individual ad group in your campaign. So we've opened up a search campaign here in Google Ads. So it's the Farmhouse Goals search campaign we did in our Google Ads tutorial. Uh, so we have all of our ad groups open that we created in that tutorial. Uh, so what I want to do is make sure I have responsive search ads in all of these ad groups. It's really a best practice at this point. I'm just going to be showing you for farmhouse dining tables today. I'm going to show you how I would go about creating a responsive search ad and then just some different things you should keep in mind so that you can make sure you're creating the most relevant ads possible. So we're going to open up our farmhouse dining tables ad group over here. You can see we're just targeting two keywords the exact match version of farmhouse dining tables and the modified broad match version of the keyword. So we're gonna come over to ads and extensions and you can see right now we're just running two expanded text ads. They're actually the same advertisement, they're just going to different landing pages. So we're doing a little bit of landing page testing right now as well. But what we wanna do is click on this plus sign and do responsive search ad. You can see it's still in beta. So we're gonna to click to create a new responsive search ad. Okay, so now we can get started with creating our responsive search ads. You can see here there's 15 total headline options. You're going to see a button that says add headline. So you just want to keep clicking that until you see all 15. And then there's four total description lines. You want to keep clicking that add description button until you get these four descriptions here. So we have 15 headlines. We have our display URL. We have four descriptions. We enter the same final URL that we use for one of our other advertisements. So just to quickly go over our final URLs, we're sending people to a page on our website that's set up a little bit more like a blog post where we have a bunch of products listed. We have some text around it. If you scroll down, there's a little bit more information about farmhouse dining tables and purchasing them. And then we're also sending people to the shop page on our website. So if we scroll down, you could just see it's just a shop page, a bunch of different products for sale with prices, reviews, things like that. So we come back over to the responsive search ad and what we want to do first is enter a display URL. So I like to just use something a little bit descriptive based on what people are searching. So if you're looking for farmhouse dining tables, you're probably looking for a new dining table set. So what I'm going to do is come in here in the first line and I'm going to do furniture so people know they're going to a furniture section on my website. And then over here, I'm going to do dining tables. So I want to make sure people know that they're going to find dining tables when they click through my URL. And you can see over to the right hand side, farmhousegoals.com slash furniture slash dining tables. I can enter farmhouse here or something like that, but I think farmhouse does the trick right there. Um, so I think that's a good display URL for this responsive search ad. Now it's going to say start by adding at least five headlines. I prefer to just use all 15. You might as well use everything Google gives you. Um, so the way to think about it is you want to use your first three headlines as if they're going to appear in the advertisement together. So if I do something like farmhouse dining tables, best farmhouse dining tables and rustic dining table sets, it's going to be an ad that all kind of looks very similar. So you can see these might all show up in the headline one, headline two, headline three. You're not really giving people a lot of information. So you want to do something. We're going to take this down here, best farmhouse dining table, and we're going to put it down in four and we're going to take rustic and we're going to put it down in five. So what we're going to do is get rid of these. So with headline number two, you want to talk about some benefits of your website, some benefits people will get purchasing from you. So you could do something like free shipping on orders and we'll just do 99 plus. So any order that's $99 or more, people are going to get free shipping. So they know if they purchase a farmhouse dining table from you, they're going to get free shipping on order 99 plus. And now I'm going to go over what this little pin means over here. So the pin shows which position the actual headline shows in. There's one, two, and three. So if you take free shipping on orders 99 plus and you want to make sure it only shows in position number two, you can click right here to make sure that this isn't the first headline in your advertisement. So you would have something like this farmhouse dining tables. So we'll take this one, make sure it only shows in position one. And we're going to do it with the same down here as well. So best farmhouse dining tables. We're going to do position one and rustic dining table sets. We're going to do position one. So this makes sure that Google is going to be showing some really relevant keywords in that first position. And then you can use position two for some benefits that people get purchasing from you. So now headline number three, you want to either talk about something with your website where maybe you say established 
in, and this isn't true for us. I mean, this is a pretty new website, but let's just say I do establish in 1999. And then people know that if they're purchasing from you, they can see rustic dining table sets, free shipping on orders 99 plus established in 1999. You're showing that you have a long history of business. So you want to use some of these different things to make sure that people understand that they're purchasing from a quality business and they also know which page on your website they're going to. So you don't just want to use one, two, and three to do farmhouse dining tables, best farmhouse dining tables. You kind of want to focus on creating some different headlines for position one, some different headlines for position two, and some different headlines for position number three. So we'll take established in 1999 here. I'm obviously not going to use this advertisement because that's just not true. Um, and we'll come here and we'll do show this headline only in position number three. So now you can continue to come down here and create more and more headlines. So let's just say I want to create another headline for two. I could do free returns on all orders. So if someone's not positive, if they, if they want to purchase from you, you can say free return on free returns on all orders. And we'll put that in position number two. So you can start just adding a little bit more headlines down here as you go and making sure that you're kind of using some of these different ideas. So your position one is really focused on creating keywords that people are actually typing in. Um, so another way you can do that is open your search terms report for that individual ad group. So I've gone ahead and opened it. So this is my search terms report. So you go to the ad group that you want to go in keywords, like the ad group you're creating ads for keywords. And then you want to click on search terms up at the top and you can use some dates to see what your top search terms are by impressions. So you can see right here, rustic farmhouse dining table. So I want to make sure that I have that in there as well. So I'll do rustic farmhouse dining table. We'll pin that to position number one. Come back to the search terms report. So we have farm table dining set, farm dining table. So you can make sure you have some of these different options there. So I'll do farm table dining set. We'll pin that to position number one. And then now we can create a few more for position number three. So we have established in 1999. Maybe I want to do top quality dining sets. We'll do that for position number three. And now what Google is going to show you over here is your ad strength. So right now it's showing average. It's telling us add more headlines, make your headlines more unique, make your descriptions more unique. So we still haven't done descriptions yet. So I'm going to do that after I'm done filling out the headlines. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of these headlines right here and kind of fast forward to this part and I'll show you some of the different ideas I went through. Okay, so so far it's showing our ad strength as average because we need to create some descriptions still. So it's saying try adding a few more unique headlines, but we're pretty good with headlines right now. So what we've done is we have four different options that can show up in position two, four different options that can show up in position three. So you can just see here the two, 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 and two, three, 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 and three. So just some different options that they're going to be able to use in our advertisements. You want to make sure all the headlines you're using are actually relevant for your business. So with farmhouse goals, I'm going to have to do a little bit of different ideas here. So some of the things I did is top brands on the market. You could do thousands of five star reviews. Uh, so I have reclaimed wood and vintage wood. These are all not showing in that first position. And in the first position, I try to match the keyword as closely as possible. So rustic farm home dining tables, farmhouse dining table sets, farm table dining set. So you can make sure that you're kind of matching what people are typing in in that first position and then use the next two fields to really sell your website, sell the types of products you're carrying or the services that you're offering. So that's the best way to create headlines and just apply it to your business. Um, if you know you have a lot of uh, positive customer testimonials, a lot of positive reviews, you can use that in your headline. Uh, so whatever your selling points are for your individual business you want to use in your responsive search ads. I've made the mistake in the past of just creating 15 headlines that are all related to the search. So farmhouse dining tables, rustic dining tables. And what ends up happening is you just have a bunch of headlines that are very similar. When in reality, you want to kind of sell your products and services to people before they click on your headline. And then you just want to make sure that first position really matches whatever they're typing in. Okay, so now we're going to come down here to descriptions. So I've already written my descriptions out and I kind of think of descriptions the same exact way. So what you want to do is pin the first one for the first description and pin the second one for the second description. So the way Google works is whatever your top headline is here, whatever your top description is here, that's what's going to show the most often. So you don't want to bury your top description in this fourth spot. You want to make sure you put it in the very top here uh, because Google is going to be most likely to serve your top descriptions and then they're going to test some of the other descriptions you have down here as well. 
So I'm gonna type in my descriptions real quick and kind of fast forward this part and go through each of them individually. Okay, so I've typed out my four descriptions and we're using the same idea as we did above. Um, so for the top one, I'm doing discover the top rated farmhouse dining tables for your rustic style home, something short and sweet. For the second one, I'm doing farmhouse goals was established in 1999. So kind of using the same thing we did up here and provides top quality farmhouse furniture. So just selling the website. Number three, I'm going to do, if you're looking for farm style dining table sets, we have hundreds of quality options, letting people know they have a ton of different choices if they click through this URL. And then you could do something on the fourth description line for find your rustic farmhouse dining table, get free returns and save on shipping costs. So pretty simple. Um, so right now it's saying our ad strength is good. It's saying try adding a few more unique headlines. So you can try some different selling points up here. You could try to create some different headlines that are a little bit more unique than what I did. Um, I like this advertisement so far. If your ad strength is good or better, I think that's a good starting point. You can always improve them over time. And really you don't know how well your advertising is gonna perform until it starts to run a little bit through Google Ads and you start to get some data with it. But this gives us a lot of different options and ad combinations so we can really get the most out of this individual ad for this one ad group. So we have this ad with 15 headlines, four descriptions, we're using a display URL, we're using a final URL, and we're only targeting two keywords in one ad group. I think it's pretty strong right now. I think we're ready to go. We can click on save. Okay, so it's showing our responsive search ad is now under review. Uh, so one thing you can do, and one thing I've been doing, is testing landing pages as well. So part of your ad rank uh, involves your quality score, which is made up of your ad relevance, your expected click-through rate, and your landing page experience. So if you're able to test different advertisements, if you're able to test different landing pages, and kind of just improve your click-through rate over time, you can ensure that you're improving your ad rank and paying the least amount possible for the keywords that you're targeting. So what I'll do is take this responsive search ad, we'll just come in here, copy and edit. You're not gonna have to type out everything again. We're gonna come over to our page, copy this other URL, come right back, enter it as the final URL. So now we have two different ads serving, the same exact advertisements, but they're just going to different landing pages and we can click on save new ad. So in this individual ad group, I have four different ads running. I have two responsive search ads and two expanded text ads. I'm testing different landing pages. And over time, Google's gonna serve our top performing advertisement. And we can make sure since we're using all these different headlines in the responsive search ad, that our ads are as relevant as possible. And we can continue to improve our landing page experience and it should improve our click-through rate with all these different ads that we're testing. There's other things you can do to improve your click-through rate. We've done a few videos in the past about it, but if you have any questions about responsive search ads, these are some best practices to use, some strategies. Make sure you're using your headlines to not only sell your business, but also to match the keywords that people are typing in, and you're really gonna see the best possible results. So thanks for watching our video today, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.